BBC News. Joe Biden has become the first sitting U.S. president to visit the city of Tulsa in Oklahoma to commemorate the race massacre that took place there a hundred years ago. He said that for too long the history of the Tulsa killings had been silenced, but now it would be known. Mr Biden was addressing a memorial event. The United States is to suspend all oil and gas development in the vast National Wildlife Refuge in Alaska, abruptly halting the Trump administration's controversial plan to expand Arctic fossil fuel development. An environmental review will determine whether energy companies' production leases should be reaffirmed or cancelled. Médecins Sans Frontières says more than half a million people in eastern Congo have lost their supply of drinking water as a result of the recent volcanic eruption of Mount Nira Gongo. The president of Chile has said he will push forward with a law to legalise same-sex marriage in the conservative South American country. Sebastian Piñera said all people, regardless of their sexual orientation, should be able to live, love and form a family with dignity. The Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, says his decision to host football's Copa America is not up for discussion. His comments follow a furious response from senators and sports journalists after the South American Football Confederation announced that Brazil, which has the world's second highest COVID death toll, would host the event this month. The organisers of Grand Slam tournaments of tennis have promised to address players' concerns about mental health. It comes a day after the Japanese tennis star Naomi Osaka withdrew from the French Open, saying she suffered anxiety. On Sunday, the organisers had fine turn threatened to disqualify her for avoiding news conferences. BBC News.